What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey fucking Pipes. I got Gigi and Stoli. <sighs> Left the house a little early this morning. Drove two and a half hours to go to a funeral and uh, spent until 3.30, family, and then three and a half hours to drive back home. Just got home a short while ago. That was a long day. My back is effing killing me. Thank God the, uh, the J-Wagon has got heated massaging seats. Fuck yeah. Oh, God. It felt so good. Oh, it was so good. I need to go back in the hot tub and have some goose with some Celsius. And I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to handle future hires at Pipe Doctor, whether it's in New York, Florida, or South Carolina, or coming to a location near you. So stick around. Smash that fucking thumbs up button. Do it now. Okay. I'm back. 24 hours. Back in the hot tub. The spa. I got some, uh, I got some ice. I got some goose. And I didn't throw any Celsius in it, and I wish I did, but I also... I want to have a good night's sleep tonight. The problem is if I drink Celsius at 8 o'clock at night, I am going to be up tossing and turning, looking for the cold part of the pillow that I could put my head on. You know what I mean? Even though the air conditioning is at 64 and the bedroom door to my balcony is open, so I get some fresh air. Still. And then the dogs will hog part of or all of my bed and I'll be just be fortunate enough to have a small sliver of bed because the dogs will be spray, you know, sp sprawled out like they own the place, and they do. You know, I was just going through some comments from yesterday's video on the Uncensored channel, and what's really what really, really gets me is that Josh, and I would say similar to Frankie, but unlike Frankie, Josh has so much potential because he knows the content. What I mean is that he knows how to engage the client, the end user, the homeowner, the customer, He diagnoses properly, he does the work properly, and he gets paid. You know, it's crazy. I had a, I hired a gentleman in Charleston uh, about a, two months ago, and um, never personally met him, right? He sent me his resume on Indeed. I basically, I spent like $5,000 looking for a plumbing, residential plumbing technician for our Charleston location. Which, by the way, the phones are ringing off the hook. I just have, I have no one there to, to send on service calls. It's sad. It really is. I need more. I need a great guy or gal. So I sent uh, this gentleman on two service calls, you know, on the first day of work. And, um... He had the same problem with both, which was he didn't know how to get paid. I'm like, okay, like, you know, you, you know, we take cash to have a credit card. Like, it's very simple. But he's like, well, they don't want to pay. I'm like, okay, if they don't want to pay, then uh, I guess you don't have a job, <laughs> right? But Josh, on the other hand, is young, under 30, and knew plumbing very well, you know? Water jetting, stoppages, water heaters. It's, it's a shame because, you know, I, he had so much potential. 
However, his downfall was being dependable and reliable because if you can't show up to work, you know, and be at your first call at eight o'clock in the morning when you're scheduled to be at work, uh, you're like a cancer. You know what I mean? A cancer. And I can't tolerate none of that bullshit in my family, right? You could be a super tech, a super tech, but if you cannot show up to work when you're supposed to, continuously, without any warning or advance notification, get the fuck out of here. And you know what's more fucked up is that New York State New York State is going to pay out his unemployment claim benefits. I guarantee it. I guarantee fucking it. I know I say over my fucking dead body, but if the New York State unemployment insurance benefit arbitrator actually had the fucking balls to tell me, it's like, well, did you tell... Mr. Frankie, not to not show up drunk or hungover or not show up on time? Like, no. Isn't it a given? Like, if you have a job, you need to show up, you know, with all your senses and on time and coherent. That's part of the job, right? If, 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 are you fucking kidding me? New York State is so fucked up. And we thought we had a bad with Cuomo, man, man. If Cuomo came back right now, Shit, I may blow the fucking dude. I'm just joking. Just joking, right? But fuck, we have Hockle now? Holy shit. So anyway, a lot of you had asked me about the template that um, for the written warning for continued late attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to read you the template. And by the way, sometimes when I'm slightly intoxicated before I beat my wife if I'm too intoxicated I'm just joking right. um, no I'm, just, I'm really just joking seriously what do you tell a, a girl with two black eyes you know that joke nothing you haven't told her twice already you know what I'm saying okay then. anyway I'm joking I'm joking I'm joking I'm joking dear Josh and I have his last name in here as well your continued lateness to work is deemed unacceptable by management. This letter is an official written warning. Specifically, since your hire date of, and I'm going to tell you like it is, of November 28th, 2023. This letter is dated November 13th, by the way. Since your hire date of November 28th, 2023, you've been late on three occurrences. The last occurrence was on Friday, December 8th, 2023, resulted in a verbal warning. Today, December 13th, you were late again. Now, here we go with how I can drop some jewels when I'm in front of a computer or a keyboard and I, I just have like something to write down my thoughts and maybe I should write a fucking book. Holy shit. You know, I wrote a book when I was in the school of hard knocks and Unfortunately, before I went into the shoe, I um, I lost it. But it was called Scam, Sex, and Scandals. And it was very scandalous, by the way. It was very, very scandalous. Shit, 25, 6 years ago. Damn. I continue with my letter. We strive to create a workplace that is fair to for all employees and our clients. When you continuously arrive late to work, you are not only in breach of the standards we expect of our employees, you are also creating a workplace that is unfair for your colleagues. We set scheduled times for your work so we can correctly meet our business goals and best service our clients. Everyone in the team strives for our continued success as a business and having a single team member arriving late causes our standard to slip and is also unfair on your colleagues who are following our high standards. We expect you to rem remedy this breach of our attendance requirement immediately. 
Continued lateness will result in further disciplinary action, including, but not limited to, termination. Regards, Mike Dyack, president. Uh, without seeing too much, there you go. You can, there you go. Okay. If you would like a template if you are a manager or an owner, regardless of what position, what what kind of profession you're in, if you would like this template, written warning for continued late attendance before you shit can them because they're fucking just habitually late or no show to work, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. This is unacceptable. Josh, if you are listening... I gave you the opportunity to get your head right. You were terminated at the end of December 2023. You came back for a day three months later. Because I put myself out there. Seriously. I put myself out there because I, I see... I see the kind of work that you, the caliber of work that you're capable of doing and what you can become of. However, not being able to show up to work on time, well, that's your nemesis. And if the New York State Department of Labor Unemployment uh, Insurance Fund is going to fucking pay you $420 a week, so you can get your head right and do what you do with that $420 or $410 or whatever the fuck it is. Well, it's not going to be coming out of my dime and my contribution to the fund because let me tell you something. Moving forward with Pipe Doctor, this is what you guys have been waiting for. Moving forward with Pipe Doctor, right? we're going to turn all new, new employees into 1099 co subcontractors. All right? You need a truck, you can lease it. Uh, from the Mikey Pipes Corporation, right? Separate entity, right? We're going to do vehicle leasing, truck outfitting. You could pay it up over time. You could do a loan. You could do a lease, finance, or you could pay it up front and save yourself a very low interest rate, right? I am going to do, because of knuckleheads like you, who are going to try to scam the system, the Unemployment Insurance Fund was designed for skilled workers to get a paycheck to help make ends meet during the off season. And for people like Josh and for Frankie, and, I, and, I, and uh, Frankie, you know, I, I had a great bond with Frankie, but what the fuck, Frankie? You actually told the fucking arbitrator that I told you to fuck bitches. Like, come on, bro. I didn't actually say that. I said, have a good time. You know, Nashville's a great town, a lot of country bumpkins there, a lot of fun. So there's a new rule that all new team members are going to be subcontractors. They're going to be 1099s. You're going to be responsible for everything. You're going to get a great, great, great gross compensation package. You know, minus your expenses, of course. You know, you'll um, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. There's a lot of other business models that do the similar things, like uh, there's a, a, a uh, irrigation and Christmas lighting and uh, landscape lighting company, major co company called Pacific Lawn Sprinklers. Lawn Sprinklers, sorry. They're a uh, franchise and they franchise out, franchisors out to all the 1099s out there. And that's what I'm gonna fucking do because New York State is not gonna fuck me anymore. It's bad enough they fuck me with my real estate taxes. Fuck me with the sales tax. You know what? What's fucked up? Let's talk about what's really fucked up. You guys have a minute or two? Listen to this. Here we go. Let's say you need a new sump pump in your house. All right? A new one. Not a new install, but a replacement. I'm going to go to the supply house. I'm going to buy that sump pump for whatever it is. And I am going to pay sales tax on that purchase. All right? Then I'm going to install it for you. And you're going to pay sales tax on that purchase as well. 
Then I'm going to send the sales tax to Albany. Does that make any fucking sense? No, but my accountant says that, listen, if we spend hundreds of hours every quarter, right, we will deduct, right, the money that you pay in sales tax versus the money that you collect in the sales tax and pocket the, and pocket the difference. But it's going to take hundreds of hours, you know, with receipts and scanning into a system and having the proof. So when you get audited by New York State because you're offsetting taxes, right, um, <clears throat> at least you won't get fucked in the ass. That's how fucked up shit is here. That's fucked up. I don't know about you, but we, uh, my wife and I, we have four children and two dogs. Two of our children already live in Florida. One is in his last year of law school and God willing, will be a past the bar and a lawyer at the end of this year. The last one, he's going into his fourth year of college. But the, the law school child, kid, no, adult, well, he wants to go to Florida. I want to go to Florida. The problem is, my family and I, we built such a nice, beautiful home here on Long Island. It's going to be a shame to leave this, you know? It would be a shame to leave this, you know? And, uh, you, know, how, you know, coming back to New York, you know, Daniel obviously would, uh, you know, run day-to-day -day operations, you know, with Peter and we'll go hire a couple more guys and uh, I'll be here in the winter, you know, in the summers because it's too uh, balls. I'm not schwitzing like a mom's or fucking uh, in Florida from, you know, like April to like end of October, Florida. No, you got to be a fucking lunatic to be in Florida. Like, and I'm not disrespecting anyone who's, a, who's in Florida, you know, for the summertime because it's just, it's just hot as fuck. It is, but... And God forbid there's not an administration administration change in Washington uh, come November. Well, I may have to just, you know, leave and just go somewhere where there's, I don't know, not woke America. I don't want to get political, but you know what? Uh, it's a shame. You know, I was driving back from Connecticut. Um, this evening, and uh, we're uh, driving through, I guess it was New Rochelle, you know, Waze took me on some fucking crazy detour, and there's a guy, he has a, uh, <laughs> he had a Persian, you know, Operation Desert Storm hat, I don't know if a lot of you um, older generations will know what I'm talking about, Desert Storm, that's when in the United States, with the Allies, went into, you know, Kuwait, and liberated Kuwait from Iraq, you know, but he had a uh, Operation Desert Storm hat, you know, army hat and with little fatigues on. And uh, he was like, uh, he had a sign on homeless veteran. And um, I don't really carry cash on me, but I had uh, had my little wallet -y thing. It's like a money clip. It's got my credit cards in there, you know, two credit cards I carry. Don't leave home without it. My driver's license. And uh, I carry a uh, an emergency and like a little cut. Next to the Shiloh Rebbe, uh, I carry a hundred dollar bill of Benjamin. And, um, you know, I, I pulled up there and he's, here he is, you know, just sitting on the median and homeless veteran. I'm like, you have fucking homeless veterans in America, right? Homeless veterans in America. Yet we have illegal immigrants entering our borders because it's an open border and we give them tens of thousands of dollars so they can have a shelter and food. Does that make any fucking sense to you? No, it doesn't make any sense to me. Catch you on the next one.